Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another quick edit video. On this image, I want to restore those awesome autumn colors and just make them a lot brighter and a lot more visible. While also, of course, working on exposure of the image since right now it's quite dark. And then finally, I want to add some nice glow effect in the center part of the image. But mostly, it's really all about those autumn colors. For the editing, I will be doing everything in Adobe Lightroom Classic. Maybe make use of the Nick Collection plugin, but I don't know that yet. So first here are the before and after images. Alright then, let's go to the lens corrections first and activate those two settings. Then back to the top on the profile, I'm going with Adobe Standard and this will just already brighten up the darkest parts of the image. By the way, I shot this as a HDR bracketed series. I could just merge the HDR, but I think the dynamic range of this raw file is enough to restore it from a single photo, just if you're wondering. Uh, but back to the editing. For the white balance, I want to go with cloudy. Um, this will just warm up the image a little more and that's kind of important for those autumn colors already. Now, before we start working on those colors, let's fix the exposure. As the image is quite dark now, I'm starting by increasing the exposure. But of course, I don't want to lose any details in the sky. And therefore, let's drop the highlights. Also, we could increase the shadows a little more. And then let's even play around with the whites. Now, as you can see, this area starts to get overexposed but I can fix it with local adjustments. So let's just leave it at that point for now. I do want to apply some kind of hazy look to this image. And to start that, I'm going to drop the texture. And this will just make everything a little bit softer. Also, I'm using negative dehaze. Okay. And then finally, let's boost the vibrance. And this will also help with those nice autumn colors. Nice, then let's do some local adjustments. I think I first want to work on the sky, so I'm using gradiated filters here. You can see for the sky I have applied two, and let's start with the bigger one. And for those two I'm simply dropping the exposure. Alright, next one. Okay, and you can see we fixed the overexposure and then I have a gradiated filter left in the bottom left corner. That's because this area isn't that interesting for the image and I want to make it less noticeable. So again to do that I'm dropping the exposure. Also I'm dropping the whites to make it a little darker. And I further drop the texture to get less detail in there. And then you may notice the colors get a little too saturated, so let's change that. Okay, and that's it for the gradiated filters. Now for the radial filters. As said in the intro, I want to apply a glow effect here. And therefore I have those two radial filters up in the sky. So let's start with the bigger one. And to apply this glow effect, I first want to drop the dehaze. Let's drop it quite a bit. You can see this will make the area brighter and make it a lot softer. And just adds a nice kind of glow effect. To further increase this, I can increase the blacks. And let's make this area softer by dropping the texture and the clarity. All right, nice. Then I want to do almost the same on this smaller radial filter. I'm dropping the dehaze, maybe a little less than last time. And let's also increase the blacks. Now this looks like a nice glow effect right there. Okay, and then I have one radial filter left for this small part of the river. And I just want to bring more attention to it. And therefore let's increase the clarity. We could even increase the saturation here. All right, now let's work on those nice autumn colors. I'm starting in the HSL tab 
Let's go to hue. First, I want to drop the green hue a little bit. And this will just make the green foliage of the trees a little more yellow. Then let's head over to the saturation. And here I'm boosting orange, yellow. And let's boost the greens as well, just a little bit. Also, I want to make those colors a lot brighter. And therefore I'm using the luminance tab and just boost the luminance of orange, yellow and green all the way up. And you can see that's a major difference to the before situation. All right, then also let's apply some split toning. I'm just touching the highlights since I think the shadows look good, but for the highlights I want to apply a warm color tone. All right, nice. Then let's do some sharpening real quick. And finally, I want to finish the autumn colors all the way down in the calibration tab, which is really, really helpful for those colors. For me here, it's really just playing around with the sliders until I get something with which I'm satisfied. In this case, I'm dropping the blue primary hue. Also, I'm boosting the saturation here. Then let's drop the green primary hue. And again, boost the saturation. And finally, for the red primary hue, I'm increasing it. And also, I want to boost the saturation. And as you can see, this really does a lot to this image. And at this point, I could actually stop with the editing, but I still want to check the Nick Collection plugin. So let's go to Edit In, Color Effects Pro 4. Now I could further increase the auto colors with the foliage effect right here. I just think at some point it's a little bit too much. Uh, let's see. Maybe a little bit. Okay. Then I might as well add another filter. So let's click this button right here. Here I want to go with the classical soft focus to give this image a dreamy look. Let's use the second diffusion method. Maybe reduce the strength. Okay, then let's save this. All right, and that's it for editing this autumn image. I hope that was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left, then please feel free to ask in the comments. And thank you for watching this video.